everyone. And welcome back to Wolfatom. Let me show you guys something. Just realized that we have a warden. And it just keeps going. <laughs> funny, funny. Alright, so in the last episode we reached almost the end of our destination. We explored a bunch of areas that were not supposed to be accessible in the demo. And I also have something under me that I wanted to check out and we are proceeding towards the exit. So this will probably be the end of the demo of Full Fathom. I do enjoy the exploration aspect, despite that the devs were not really making this as an, as an exploration game. So yeah, in the last episode we checked these folks out. And I looked into these rows because we found something here. Near the sign I found... Uh, Actually, you know what? I think the next waypoint should be around that sign. So if I'm going too far ahead, that will not actually help us much. All right, so this is, this is the sign. Let me actually make a screenshot for it. It will be good for the thumbnail. And here I found a bolt cutter. So I thought, all right, this must be something I can use that bolt cutter on. So many storage units, but none of them is actually accessible. So I'm kind of disappointed, son. I was checking a few, but none of them was accessible. So that bolt cutter was probably a random loot, not something placed with a reason. And yeah, I see something blinky blinky there. But I think actually I need to head back and move the sub to the next waypoint because just this sign alone uh, and the storage facilities are, you know, they are not meant to be. Uh, I mean, we explored it already and they will not have any loot in it or anything, so... Oh, sweet oxygen. Alright, let's move to the next waypoint and we will see. I've not seen anything down there that would actually motivate me to, to go further. So the next waypoint will be seven seven five three seven five and three. Yeah, set the root. Pull the lever crown. And we are moving slowly. I don't actually see it from the window, but we need to find something to eat. Uh, this one gone kaput, I think. None of the screens are working. We take a look inside. Do I have any? Oh, I have thrown out everything. Let me see if I have any anything to eat. We established that the jar of olives are not edible. None of the power conduits. Oh wait, I think that's a sardine. I should be able to eat sardine. One of these should be edible. Oops, alright. Mystery can. And I'm throwing out the rest. Let's look at our destination, and I think we reached it. Let me look out. If I'm correct, we should be a bit ahead of that sign. 
above it, exactly. All right. All right. Then don't mind if I do. Wanted to check. I haven't checked these two rows here, and I like to be thorough, even though I'm pretty sure that they are. They have nothing in it, but you know, I'm not really the one who just gives up without going thoroughly in places. If I go, I go fully. They were not meant to be explored. Damn, son. That was too ominous, though. <laughs> that light there shining up on some loot. I see a giant rock formation. A blink light. High volt power. I'm not sure I can do anything with that. There's that little cottage, and I think that that should be something that we're supposed to do. Like open the area. Let me move the sub a bit further ahead, because I think we will need it. Let me in. Let me in. Oof. Eight percent oxygen left. All right. So that's seven one two seven one two. Setting route. Nice. And I'm moving the engine a little bit. A little bit more. Too bad, I don't see shit. Wait, what does the, the map say? The map says we are moving. reach that rock surface so I go down because I mean not down I go out because I found that little cottage that I was not able to go in the first time I went in there right so I think the thing here is we kind of need to open this giant door this looks like something where my sub can go in. Yeah, this looks like something where my sub can go in. Let's look into this small house to see if there's anything in it. I see some blinky lights. That's usually the sign of things. As you know, we are still waiting for power to the gate to be restored. Unfortunately, complications came up with the UWN launch, launch with the upgrade of the grid. This means the gate will remain inoperable until they sort it out at the power station. Until then, you will have to turn away all people wishing to cross the FR200 tunnel. Be patient, these are stressful times for all of us. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Until then, you need to turn away people. And as always, make sure to report any cases you may notice within the staff force. No staying quiet about this, as we know the potential risk these individuals present. Okay, okay. Oh, there was... what? Hang on, hang on. 
there was a floppy disk here on the table which disappeared. I don't see that gate opening. And I'm starting to get out of oxygen. Do I have picked up that floppy? Oh, I picked up that floppy by default. Alright, I might need to feed that in. But the question is... What is this? I volt power 1. Do I need to use the bolt cutter with this? Can I use my marine knife? Equip. Hmm. Probably not the brightest idea trying to cut with a bolt cutter. I mean with a knife into high power cables. When that open gate is not doing shit. The gate is not any more open than before. Let me try that board cutter first. I know it might not be the bestest of ideas. But that looked like a, a cable up there. And I'm quite curious if that would help. This game can be tricky sometimes. Where did I put my bolt cutter? Is that? No, that's a pipe wrench. Hmm. Sensor array. I'm picking up. Actually, I have three. Maybe I can. I can put them on the ship while I'm out. Where did my bolt cutter go? Oh boy, stuff is disappearing. Oh, there it is. One piece of bolt cutter. I didn't have to repair the ship yet. Running out. Equip. Seems like I'm doing something, just not to this. Wait, can I bolt cut the door? I mean the gate. That would be too easy. Also, this is too... Too thick for me to bolt cut. So the solution must be something else. Hmm. My initial idea was that that is bleeping, that is plimping. So the combination of those two somehow should be able to sort my things out. But I can obviously cannot do much with that. Hang on. I need to get back to the ship and think this over. When I'm back there... I will get, to get back to you folks on this. That power line is dangerously close to the sub. Oof. All right, I'll be back in a second. Hmm. Well, all right. 
folks. I think I did manage to learn a little bit, not too much. And one of the things that I noticed is that we have this floppy disk. But I wanted to check one tiny more thing. Because we do recall all of our things. So that was something that I wanted to check there. Not the six tips, but... This one. Attention stuff. Alright, so basically people... So they don't have power. And if you look at your journal entries, one of the quests that you need to do here is restore power to the gate. So that's our current main mission, which I have no idea. I had no idea. But that's what he will do. Oh wait, one second, I wanted to do one thing before we move on. Uh, yeah, the floppy disk. So we have a floppy disk, let's hope it will help. Routing data. Oh yeah, so one of these places will be not like the other. I think the bottom three now that we can actually route to these locations should contain something, something, something. So let's get to the first one, 762. 762. And now we should be able to get there. Nice. Alright, routing data added. We are pumping the thing. And the sub is going there, routing. Next thing we will do is, when we reach the location, I will go out and go around the sub, because I have three cameras in my inventory. And I wanted to check if I can put some up on the thing. Really? Do I look like not busy enough? To be perfectly honest, I thought that I'm, I've, I've seen the whole map. But while the game was paused a little bit, I looked into some YouTube videos of this demo. And the people playing the game there have been in areas that I have not even seen looking for stuff that I, I just kind of went around. Or for example, we went to the blinky light people in the, you know, earlier. And it turns out you're supposed to actually like reach that location. And it has some important stuff somewhere on it. So I'm quite curious. Um, <laughs> I thought I played this game quite enough. This will be what my seventh video on it, on the demo. And I have not seen parts that those people have seen. And I really, really thought that I am, I am doing great with this. Alright, a little bit more. So there was a logic in the madness. I thought that those are not available locations in the demo. But it seems they are. You just kinda need to find it. It was a bit strange for me since, you know, you were meant to go through this route. I, I thought that these locations here are not part of the demo because they were not part of the route. So I was swimming there earlier. Nee. Anyway, we should be good. Let me get out and then install some cameras. They are not really necessary, but you know. Alright, let's go to the bottom. If I would find a place for them. Is any of this looks like a nice place to put a camera on? Not really. But 
That's just a barnacle. Ah, look at that manual purple, purple thingy here. <laughs> Alright, so I wanted to check if there is a place for the cameras. This would be a nice place for it, but I don't actually see any location for it. I found one place for a, a camera before. And it really looked like a barnacle. Maybe somewhere down here. I know, this is not prime gameplay, but... Hmm. Oh no, I'm struggling for air. Oof. That was a close one. Problem is I don't even see if there would be any good place for it. I know that there's two on the front and we were able to see with those. Hmm. I'm not even finding the tools on the front now. Wait, is this one? Yes, yeah, so that, that's one camera spot. But it already has a camera in it. I don't really see any other spot for it. Oh wait, there's one. Directly below. Wanted to check if there's any other. If you have one directly below, maybe we need some directly above. Hmm. This one. Oh, it already has a camera. There's one here. Nice, we put that in. And on this side, that's already in. Nice. That kind of concludes every camera angle that I have. Let me put out the rest of it. And then we can explore where we ended up. Pum 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 One extra camera I can throw. I think I've seen some... ...notification about food. So I eat some of the sardines. And then throw out the rest. Keeping the bolt cutter. There you go. Whoa. Alright, so we have three houses down here. And I don't recall four houses. Oh yeah, these are the flamingos that were leading us to the giant rabbit. Oh, I need to look into these houses. Mirror. 
think I might even have figured these out or checked these houses before. I don't recall. They look the same. So I'm not sure if I actually checked them before or not. Leads, it kind of look familiar. Uh, they all look done. Hang on. Alright, I picked up something. But this kind of looks like, you know, I already discovered. Or else. Let me get the air. Oh shit, no. Oh no. Alright. Is it on? Oof, that was close. Alright, so was it? Oh, it was that one, I think, right? I have not seen the third floor. Or I think I have not seen the third floor. Nothing useful on the third floor. Damn, this flashlight is not helping at all. Alright. Oh. Alright, that is done. House one of four. Let me refill. And then let's check out this sweet house with the flamingos. The TV. More flam I think I'd export this house as well. More flamingo. Oh, jeez, Louis. Another one of these guys. More flamingos. Inside the pavement. Oh jeez, that almost sounded like somebody was moving upstairs. But there is no upstairs in this house. Hear that, it's something like a knocking. Very weird. I can clearly hear the knocking. It almost looks like it's coming from this giant fish. Yeah, there's some... Oh yeah, it's definitely coming from here. Alright, let's check that house over there. Small box. Nothing of use. So many places. And there's no free food anywhere. Hmm. Withering away. I need to eat. But I just ate before I came down here. Alright, back to the sub. Eating more. Twenty-three. Twenty-two. Please tell me do you have something here that I can eat? Prunes. Use. 
Oh, for fuck's sake, I cannot use. I used. I think I used. Not sure that was needed. Oh shit. My ass is still going down. And I cannot eat olives. Is that like sardines? Alright, I eat everything. Health is still going down. Luxury tomato, alright, I keep some of these with me because my health is going up now, so I should be good, but you know, the screen is still a bit jittery because I'm kinda low on health. Yeah. So Squid House was done, Death House was done. hard to see but I think oh that's the house with a garden or something I've seen that one right so I don't think there's anything else here let me get back to the previous waypoint and then we will slowly reach our destination and that would be seven seven nine And while we are traveling, I say my goodbyes for this episode, folks. I know it's a bit jittery, but, you know, we are getting there. In the next episode, I visit this 79, 779 and 777. And I think at 777, we will find our way to power the gate at 712. So, yeah, it will be... Something is beeping. Fuel gauge. That's alright. I have plenty of fuel. I can sort this out before the next episode. But yeah, give this video a thumbs up, folks. We are slowly getting there. And see you in the next adventure. Bye-bye.